So the next part of my pull-out drawers is actually building the drawers themselves. And that's what I'm going to show today. So I use a 5 8 plywood with a nice, nice veneer finish. This is because the material was free. Ideally, I would have purchased three quarter inch plywood. And I just did a rabbit cut with my table saw and then glued everything together. Um, included a base piece with, I had to cut rails or slots in the wood for that. And uh, you can see this uh, corner here, this corner cut. And then I mounted this on some quiet, the most ex inexpensive quiet clothes slides. Uh, we did also apply a couple coats of polyurethane. I used a nail gun to nail uh, the plywood together because it's five eighths. It's pretty tricky. A couple of the nails came through on the other side instead of staying within the plywood. So with that, let's get started. All right, I'm excited to show you this box that I made today. Uh, you'll notice that it is made out of laminated plywood, several layers, and it's also the 5 8 inch thick. Normally they're made out of 3 quarters inch and solid wood, except for maybe the base. Um, and the reason for that is overall better, it's better performance, um, stronger. Um, however, I have free materials and uh, with the free materials, I figured that I can make my boxes with a table saw that I bought for, it basically pays for this table saw. Um, so I, I would recommend five, five eighths. I recommend three quarters, but this still works. Um, and the only thing we'll end up doing at the end is sanding down the edges and, and um, putting some polyurethane to protect it. So it's not just bare wood. All right, so here are the plans. It's, it's a little better than the back of a napkin, I think, but, but not much. The important dimensions are the base, which is 33 and a quarter by 22 inches. The, um, the sides, there's one at two sides at 22 inches. And then there are two sides at um, 33 and 11 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths. And so that's what I'm going to be cutting out and we'll continue from there. So here's my base, it's cut out. Here are my two sides, well, two 22 inch sides and then my two 33 and 11 16 inch sides. Now, next, I'm going to use, I'm going to put this together with a, so I'm going to use a, a rabbit cut, basically cutting in a square chunk out of each one, each side, and then these will fit together along with a groove at the bottom or the base, and then glue it all together and then strap it together. And I'm even going to use a nail gun to help add extra support. So obviously it's important to make sure that the cuts are laid out correctly. So I do that in pencil. I'll even mark X off the parts I want, the material that I want to remove. So then on both sides. And then also I'll be doing a cut a strip across the bottom that will hold the lower part of the drawer. Now, one of the problems that I've had with this table saw is when I'm making these cuts, if there's too much pressure on the plastic piece, the plastic piece will deflect and, and cause my cut to not be as accurate as it could otherwise. Not a big showstopper, but not a great uh, great feature. So I put most of my pressure on the metal. If you're going across metal to metal, then it works much better. So now I'll go ahead and set my height. Obviously right now it's for through cut. So I'll set that up. I'll also drop down. Don't know what this is called, <laughs> but uh, that needs to come down for a non through cut. All right, so here's where I made just a few passes with um, cross cut on my table saw. And then you can see here, that's the notch cut out. This is the notch for the base. And I made multiple passes again because I don't have the, the, the wide blade. And then I just come through and clean it up, cleaning it up with, a, with this uh, scraper. All right, so I fit it together. Next step is I'm going to add some glue and get my nail gun and put some nails in on the sides along the bottom. Should be good, good to go. Okay, I've got glue in all my joints. So now I'm just going to put it together and then I have some straps to hold it rather than clamps, but they work. So that's the next step. All right, and here's the box put together with the straps tightened down and I will go around now and just put some nails in the sides just to shore it up, make sure it's gonna stay strong. And to wrap up, this is the final product. 5 8 inch, inch plywood, veneer plywood drawers on some inexpensive, quiet, closed slides. It's great. We can get to all of the pots and pans now. And this will hold about 50 pounds. The top as well. And that's a wrap.